Welcome to the new season here on Oliver Eaton. It is Premier League time coming up again and as always we will have 10 games to give a prediction score to. This year it's a bit different. I'll be wanting you to post and comment your predictions down below and they will appear on this screen in future episodes. But without further ado, let's get to this week's Premier League predictions. Kicking off with the Friday game where Liverpool have Norwich and I think it will be a 4-0. I think Liverpool have that strong quality quality and I think Norwich won't be expecting it as well so soon in the season. Liverpool will be pushing towards the title this season. Man City after their win against Liverpool on penalties they to win 2-1 against West Ham. Uh, West Ham will be a tricky game and I think both teams will be very competitive in this game but I think Man City will get the upper hand with that quality shining through as well so 2-1 to the away team in this fixture. The new boys, Sheffield, take on Bournemouth and this is quite an interesting game actually for both and I can't really call it. Uh, Bournemouth have made some good signings, Sheffield they're trying to strengthen before the season starts. I think 1-1 though uh, could be the score and I think both teams will probably take that early on in the season as well. Burnley versus Southampton, I think Southampton have invested well, they've got Che Adams and I think they look strong under Az and Hootel. Uh, I think Burnley, they could be a contender for the relegation zone. So I've gone for a 2-0 to the away team, uh, with Southampton getting them two goals to beat them at Turf Moor. Everton, another team who have invested well, but then again, they're against a very tough managed uh, Crystal Palace. If Zaha maintains his place right for the opening weekend, I think this could be a bit more competitive. But 2-1 for the away team, I think Everton could push through. Let's hope this time they're a bit lucky with their signings. Watford missed out on the FA Cup final uh, against City in the end. Brighton, I've been having them favours for relegation for many times. I've gone for 2-0 to Watford. I think it would be interesting Brighton if more pay. Uh, could make an impact straight away, but I've gone for a Watford win. Uh, Tottenham finally kicking off in their new stadium for the whole season this time. They take on new boys Aston Villa, who spent a lot, and I think, to be fair, uh, I think Tottenham will go through. Uh, Aston Villa, they they remain to be known yet how they'll react to this Premier League, and if your predictions will change. These are two teams what are potentially battling. To try and break into that top six, maybe at least the Europa League places. And I've gone for 2 2. I think both teams are very strong. They've invested well this season. And it will be a very competitive match. 2 2, though. Probably a fair score. Uh, but both will be eager to win with Arsenal here. Uh, kicking off the new season. 2 0 against Newcastle. Newcastle got Steve Bruce now. I'm not sure how he will be uh, in the dugout, but uh, I've gone for an Arsenal win. I think as a top six side, they're expected to win this game and I think it'll be a tricky game, but uh, I think they will get the goals. And then the final one here is Man United-Chelsea. Uh, a typical fashion, I think it'll be nil-nil between both sides. Uh, the two sides who have fallen from the top six kind of great and I don't think either team will do particularly well this season. But I don't know, who knows, they might be fine for the top four. For Champions League place. Make sure you do comment down your predictions uh, and we will reflect on them next week. Uh, and that is it very quickly. Uh, of course, it will be a bit different. We'll be back to the normal routine next week where we'll go through my predictions, how we went, and I'll be going through your comments as well. Anyway, until then, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.